Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. It's an exciting morning for me. I woke up this morning, I looked out my bedroom window like I normally do every morning at the backyard and all the green and the growth, and I found something really special. I'm gonna share that with you this morning. So let's go ahead and get today started. And without further delay, let's get today's video underway. she is <laughs> wait right, that's our bedroom window up there and this morning I woke up and I looked and I saw something here inside the raised bed garden and it was beautiful it was absolutely astounding from the view of the window in our bedroom and what did I find I found this flower right here and I said what kind of flower could possibly grow because this is grapevines up here we have some sitao, which I gotta pull some of these down. And I'm like, what could this possibly, possibly be that's so beautiful back here? Well, this, this is the beginning of the dragon fruit fruit itself. You get this flower, and from what I understand, uh, it's like a one day kind of a thing. You have to be there for this major event. Uh, let me see if I can get a better picture from above. Now, as you can see, that's our dragon fruit on the other side. We have dragon fruit all around. You see all the dragon fruit right here. And this is the first year I planted this not much more than a year ago. It's about a year ago. And I've been waiting to see some kind of blossom and that's our blossom right there. So I am so excited about that. That is our first dragon fruit. All right, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think mornings Mornings are my favorite time here in the backyard uh, of Villa Feliz because in the morning everything is so green. I got the sprinkler, the irrigation running this morning. I get to drink some of my local Boraco coffee here and it's just it's so calm and quiet here in the subdivision and it's just a wonderful time of day. Mornings, some people are morning people, some people are evening people. I'm kind of both. I'm kind of like all day people because it's just so really nice and relaxing here. Now today wasn't really going to be a video episode day. Today was supposed to be just doing some really small relaxing projects around the backyard but I got so excited about that dragon fruit this morning and I decided ah, let me go ahead and make a video for today uh, so that you can see my excitement when I get excited about these things around here. But I do have a project today, and one of the projects that I'm going to be working on today is movement of a couple of trees that right now, it's not too bad. I gotta get out of the way of the irrigation. The irrigation is just doing all the watering back here and I keep getting splattered. But uh, one of the things, if you have trees planted, and then you do something like a modification like what we did right here with the roofing, you might find out that your tree might not be in the best place. And this is what I'm talking about right here. So I have, I have two palms over here. I have this anahow, and anahow is directly underneath the, the, the new roofing over here. So this, is, this has to move because it grows quite tall. And, and this really grows tall, all those very small here. And this is a date palm right here. Uh, so the anahow over here, I have another one over here that kind of defines and will do be a nice accent for the porch, the lanai back here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one over here, the same amount of distance from the corner. So we'll have that one on that corner right here. We'll have another one right over here. And it will have enough room to clear. Ow, ow, getting wet, wet, hey, hey. So I will, excuse me, 
Anyway, so I will uh, move that one over here. It will clear this corner right here, and then we'll take this. I don't know where we're going to put this date palm because I already have two other date palms. Remember, they are the focal point of the center of both of the plant islands that uh, border both sides of the swimming pool. And these will be beautiful. One day, these, we will have these beautiful date palms on both sides here, and they will be a really nice accent for the swimming pool. Uh, but I don't want to get rid of this one but I don't really have a spot for it, but we'll find a spot for it. And that's, ah, that's today's project. Ah. And we have a bunch of the task out of the way. I still have some cleanup and I still have one other plant to move. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. But this is the citronella plant. The citronella plant was, oh, I don't know, about uh, 12 inches, 14 inches further back, uh, closer to the house. And it was actually touching the house. Now, normally you don't want any of your plants, any of your vegetation to touch your house. But if you have to have something that does touch your house, citronella or lemongrass are fine because they repel insects and they won't crawl on there and get all over the side of your house. Now, you see I gave this citronella plant a haircut and I used the hedge trimmer to do that. And that will stimulate new growth and when the roots start taking grass from inside the new soil down here, everything should be popping up really quick and this will fill in very fast. Now, a recommendation here, don't throw away any of the clippings that you have from your citronella or your lemongrass. Now, this is the citronella clippings. And what you can do with the citronella clippings here is the green citronella clippings, you can actually make uh, citronella oil. Uh, the the oil from this right here you can mix with some other ingredients and you can find it on the internet and you can make uh, like mosquito repellent you can make sprays and things like that uh, so uh, don't throw this away and if it dries like this if you let it sit out and you let it dry like this you can take these clippings right here and put inside a clay pot which is what we do in the evening here sometimes I'll show you we just picked up a clay pot over here now this is our clay pot and every evening we burn a little bit of the lemongrass, not the citronella. We could use the citronella, uh, but whatever is available. We have lots of lemongrass around here. And we burn it, and basically we, we just let it smolder and make some smoke, and it keeps all of the insects that might be hanging out inside the plants around here, it makes them go away. We have no problem with mosquitoes here. And then I take the, the burned ashes, and I put it back here inside the garden around the bamboo and all, and that gives some good nutrient to the soil. So you're giving back Back to your environment to your plants now this is lemongrass right here and I clip it all the time we have lemongrass all over the place here's lemongrass right here again I said any any lemongrass or citronella near your house is fine this is lemongrass right here and you see the brown spot down here at the bottom I cut that and that's what we use like I was saying we use that to smolder some smoldering ashes in the evening time to get rid of the mosquitoes now the lemongrass can also you can apply directly to your skin the, the lemongrass you can take the leaves when it's green like this and put it in a pestle and mortar and mix it up grind it up and get a little bit of oily uh, compound in the bottom it's actually lemongrass oil and the active ingredient in lemongrass is citronella, believe it or not. And you can take that and you can rub that on your ankles and your legs and it will help keep mosquitoes away. It's natural insect repellent. You don't have to have any type of chemicals. It's all natural. And you also see we, we got our Anna Hao palm right here replanted. And it's vertical right here and if it goes up, we got plenty of room. I think we're okay. I don't think we have to worry about it uh, hitting the uh, the roof over here. I think I got it far enough off and it will match the anaha that we have on this side as well. Uh, so I have those. The only thing I have not transplanted yet is I pulled up the the date palm and it's over here. I just got it sitting here in the shade. I want the roots in the sun. And I have to find a place for it because this will grow huge. This is a very, very big tree. And that's the one that we have right here. We have one in the center of our island over here. By we'll have plenty of dates around here. Oh, look at our pineapple. Ooh, look at that. So I want to give you an update, a really quick update on our dragon fruit. Uh, remember, I, I think I said this morning the dragon fruit flower only lasts one morning. It's like early in the morning and you can see it's already closing up. That beautiful, beautiful flower is now closing up. 
and I, I guess the blossom will drop off and then you'll start seeing the fruit bear behind it but uh, I, again only you, you got to get that one opportunity if you see it you better grasp the opportunity grasp the moment and get that picture I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this mess over here get everything tidied up find a place for the date palm hopefully I find a place for the date palm get that planted then I have one more task for today that I'm going to share with you anyway what we're going to do now is this is the coconut remember we we dropped the coconut from our coconut tree in the front yard the other day and we kept eight i believe it was eight coconuts and we cut up three today well, i didn't i didn't cut up three my gardener cut <laughs> yeah I, I i can't use the bolo knife or i'll cut off another finger off of my <laughs> off my hand so he does that he does the cutting he split everything this is the juice from inside you see he cut the hole in the top and poured the juice inside here and this is going to take out the buco from inside the coconut itself. And what are we making? I, I don't know. What are we making? Huh? Buco shake. Buco, are we making buco shake? Yeah, you're going to make buco shake. <laughs> I'm going to make buco shake. So we're going to take all of this and we're going to put it in the blender over there. And we'll make a buco. We'll make a buco smoothie. A buco smoothie and I got to show you while she's doing this while she's getting this is a neat little tool that she uses here to get the, oh. the buco out. See this? And uh, she just scrapes inside the, the coconut husk inside here and gets mm -hmm. the buco over here. Now I want to show you also those bananas are ready outside. Let's take a look at those bananas. I thought. Now I thought these bananas here were too small and maybe cut down premature off of our tree that we got rid of here. Remember we chopped this down the other day. Well, not we again. My gardener uh, separated it from the plant. But I got to tell you, these little tiny, these little tiny bananas. Let's see if I can do this one-handedly is very difficult. I want you to look on the inside. These things are great. Uh, the last batch I had were much bigger, but these are still really tasty. These are like bite <laughs> these are like bite size, bite size bananas. Uh, I've never had them this small before, uh, but they're really good. One or two bites. Mm. So what are your ingredients? Right, so the the plan here is we're going to take this buco right here and take some of the buco juice over here and we'll add a little ice, maybe a little bit of sweetener. We have some buco sweetener. Uh, that's a, the powder mix that we have inside there. Oh. A little bit of ice and then we'll put it inside the blender. While we're sitting here enjoying our buco, our buco drink, uh, I just noticed I got some email that came in and it is for a anniversary request for an anniversary shout out. So how appropriate while we're sitting here, it comes in right now and we're going to do a shout out. So <laughs> we have a anniversary shout out for yesterday, uh, which was the March 28th and it's for Woody and Violetta, Violetta, Violetta Freeman. I got to make sure I got to check with this. I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, Violetta Freeman, who are uh, celebrating their seventh, they just celebrated seventh. their seventh yeah. wedding anniversary, uh, and they're up in Manila right now, staying Ooh. in a condo up in Manila. And they sent a picture, a lovely picture, and they asked us, oh. would we please share the picture? So we're going to share the picture with you right now. So anyway, to both Woody and his lovely wife, we want to wish you both a happy, happy anniversary. And we have one more shout out, and it's for a birthday shout out. It's for my good friend Art Carlson for his goddaughter. He wanted to make sure that we do a, a shout out for her third birthday. And her oh. and her name is Ella. Amaga. Ella Amaga. And she just turned three years old. And she lives down in Davao. Uh, so anyway, to Ella, we want to wish you a 
Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Now, before we close, let's just go ahead and look at how I move some of these plants around the yard. And this is something that's going to be typical. You know, as you evolve in your property and in, in your backyard with your house, like we did with the roofing, the roofing up upgrade here just recently things change and then sometimes it's as long as you have like plants that are as small as our plants are right here you can be flexible and you can move things around because it's hard sometimes to plan for something that you're gonna see five years or ten years down the road uh, and that's what we did here we moved a couple of things around to accommodate some of the changes that we had here so let's kind of take a look at what we did today Okay, you kind of see that circle there. There used to be a plant right there. Let's see, what did we have here? Oh, that was where the date palm was. And where did the tape, date palm go? The date palm went here. It is finding a new home in between the walk up to our Baje Cubo up here. Now this date palm will get pretty big, but what we'll do, I was gonna make one big steps up here, but I think what would look even neater is to put steps on this side and steps on this side sort of like a in and out or an in and out or both it doesn't really matter and maybe we'll just make a little plan around here there's so many things that we can do there's so much potential if you have a vision for this these little steps here so that's where the date palm went and our and how palm it moved where, where was it oh it used to reside over there and it moved to this position right here. And why did we move it here? Because we don't want it to hit <laughs> our new roof that we just put up here. So that should be good. Nice thing about this right here, as it's growing, it's gonna give us a little bit of shade right here on the back porch. And the last thing we moved, we just brought the citronella from right up against the house. We moved it out just a little bit over here. Uh, so, And that's a better position for it. And I actually feel like I have more of a garden area space right here that I can do some other little plants if I want to later on gives me a little bit of room for expansion here and last but not least let's visit the place that we started today all out with and that is our dragon fruit that you don't even see the flower any anymore because it's only a one day a one event time kind of a thing that goes on and it's closing up and I guess everything will fall off and eventually you will see the actual dragon fruit I'm excited to take a look at that as it starts growing there I'm gonna have to keep an eye if that opened up this morning it is a possibility we might be getting other blossoms somewhere else around it because we have so much dragon fruit on all four corners of our raised bed garden okay well that's going to be it for today ness is going to sit back here and serenade me right you serenade yeah. me <laughs> actually she practices she has her, her her book and she studies some music <laughs> and uh she's going to be practicing back here I guess yeah practicing yeah. it's great to practice <laughs> by the poolside anyway that's it for today I hope you enjoyed today's episode I know I told you I had one more project to talk about today but it just kind of ran so late uh, we'll save that for maybe tomorrow or the next day and it's gonna be another great project it's a small project uh, it's something that we or well I shouldn't give it away but it is something I ordered on Lazada it came in and it's for the garden did I give it away I don't know <laughs> Did I give it away? I, no, I didn't give it away. I didn't tell you exactly what it is. Okay, well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and notified if you ring that bell the next time we upload a new video. So until such time, from right here in the Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well